G'day guys, it's Jeb here from Adelaide RV and uh, today's guest is very, very close to my heart. It is uh, Marco from National Leisure Finance, previously all about finance and also for a little period of time, Stratton. Yep. But uh, Marco was one of the very first guys that took me under the wing when I was a young whippersnapper about 14 <laughs> years ago in the caravan industry over in Perth. It was my birthday, 23rd of March, and Marco said to me something I'll never forget. He said, son, you're not having your birthday on your own. Let's go out, I'm taking you out for dinner. And ever since, I've, uh, I've been forever in debt to Marco and, and what he's done for me in building me up inside of this industry and mate, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on Appreciate and have that, a chat mate. to you today, Appreciate mate. That. Thank you so much yeah, for coming pleasure. along. But uh, mate, just want to have a bit of a conversation and, and just find out what's happening in the world of finance, uh, what we're seeing. And um, again, you've been in the game a long time. What year did you yeah. start? Oh, it was around 20 years ago, to be honest. 20 years? Yeah, the first, uh, first guy to do caravan finance, to be honest. Okay. When I first started, there was no one. Yeah. But I actually enjoy caravans. I'm a caravaner myself. Yeah. So I got into it and then obviously it grew from there. So 20 years ago, like obviously we're at a caravan show here now. We're at the, uh, you know, the Let's Go Caravan and Camping Show here at the Adelaide Showgrounds is where we're filming this right now. But again, there's, there's brokers everywhere. There's caravan dealers everywhere. What did it look like? What was the landscape 20 years ago? Oh, it was very, very different. Um, there weren't as many dealers, as many manufacturers. Um, obviously not as many brokers. I was the only one. Uh, it, was, it was very different back then, mate. There, was just, there wasn't as much hustle and bustle as there is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what have you found, obviously, as we've gone through the trends over the last 20 years? So, you know, 20 years ago, you would have been here through the GFC, you know, through yep. 2008. Yep. You would have been then, obviously, through the COVID era. As you've seen, yep. I guess you've rode the wave. You've seen the up yeah, and down yeah. of the caravan industry. The good thing with the caravan industry, as you know yourself, when COVID hit and the GFC, um, caravan it didn't affect the caravan industry too much. Okay. More people weren't travelling overseas, yep. so they kept their mm. money and started buying more caravans. So it actually, it was pretty good for us during those periods. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And just in caravans. And from a finance perspective, where do you like? Where, where do you find the biggest, I guess, target market is for for you guys? You know, again, caravans is yeah. typically, I guess, labelled as you know, you you work for forty years, you retire, yeah. you know, you get your superannuation out, and you go and buy a caravan. Yeah. So I, I, I would only assume that finance potentially has been looked at inside of the caravan game as something that you wouldn't necessarily need. Um, but I, I guess from knowing you over the last, you know, what ten. Yeah. You know, or so years now, what are we now, 24? So it's probably yeah. more like 14 years now. Yeah. You know, you've, you've really, I guess, um, revitalized what, you know, the industry is, look, what it looks like and, and how people use their money. So kind of talk us through yeah, that. To, to be honest, that's actually pretty, pretty good you brought that up. When I first started, it was literally not even, maybe 1% of caravans were financed. Wow. Which will explain why not many people would, would, not many brokers would get into the caravan finance part, which obviously, like I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, but over the years, it's grown. It used to be just families, yep. um, but slowly as, as the years went on, we find that it's, it's anyone and everyone. Yep. You know, a lot of people with their super, they used to buy caravans with their super, but now they're holding their super. Yep. You know, because once it's gone, it's gone. Yep. Um, so it's, it's, it's a whole broad range across the market, to be honest, and now it's around about 20% of caravans. Wow. wow, so I guess we go back, you know, what, 20 years ago, it was 1% of finance, and now it's, you know, 20%, so that's one in five. So one in five caravan, um, you know, purchases are, are finance. That's huge. It um, is very huge. Look, a lot of times they'll, some people might put on their mortgage, yep. which doesn't really benefit them, but they, they don't know. Their bank won't tell them that. So talk us through that. Like, what is the strategy there? Because I've heard that some people say, I'll just pop it on the home loan. I'll pay it off over, you know, the remaining 15, 20, 25 years. Yeah. You know, you've, you've been in the world of finance your entire life. So talk us through the strategy. Like for anyone out there, I guess, that's considering purchasing a caravan, how should they be funding it? What is the strategy there and why? Look, to be honest, it all depends on their affordability. I yep. don't want people to obviously be in hardship. Yep. So if they have to put on their mortgage, obviously you do, because the repayments are cheaper. Yep. Though it's what we call less for more. Okay. Um, so they're going to pay less, but they're going to pay more in the long run. Right. You get the average 50,000, the average loan's about $50,000. Yep. So over your home loan period, you're going to be paying about 150, 200,000 for that caravan. And what happens is a lot of people have that caravan, and then they'll sell it in four or five years' time. Yep. They'll buy another caravan. They're still paying for the caravan they've got. So all of a sudden right. they've got two caravans. But people don't realise that. Because they're putting it on their home That's loan. That's right. I mean, if you can pay it off early in your home loan, great. You yep. know, we don't want anyone in hardship, like I said. Yep. But if not, then, and they can afford it, the best option is get a five, seven-year term, get over and done with. The van still has got its value, and away you go. So I would imagine that's a trap for young players, you know, for people that don't necessarily understand you know, the, I guess the way that the finance world works and, and the way that the interest repayment and the repayment terms and the length of the term. So, you know, let's just break that down in, I guess, it, the, the most simplest way we possibly can. So they come in here to Adelaide RV, they yep. purchase their new caravan. Um, the caravans, let's say it's 
$75,000, you know, average price of an average caravan now, and they've got a choice to be able to pay it off over five or seven years yep. through a caravan loan, uh, or put it on their home loan. Where, yep. like, talk, actually, let's break that down. So what does that then look like to then for that caravan to turn into $150,000, $200,000, I guess, purchase price is what you were just saying? Yeah, well, the, that's what the interest they'll pay on it over the, over the, over the period once they, they finish their home loan. Yep. Well, I, some people pay it off earlier, but look, to be honest, um, the, the, the most we do is seven years, the shortest is two years. Yep. Um, although we don't really do two year caravan loan. Um, the best would be on a seven year term because it's not too short, not too long, with payments a little bit less than a five year term. Yep. Um, so affordability is there as far as, you know, you've got the extra two, three hundred dollars for petrol to get out and yep. about. Um, but then, like I said, if you put on your home loan, you, you will pay a lot more over the period of time, yep. unless you pay it off early, yep. which most people don't. So, okay, so we're talking seven, seven percent on a, on a caravan, seven, eight percent on a caravan yep. finance loan over five years, or three percent on my home loan over 20 years. So you said before, it's yeah. less now, but it's more later. Yeah. So how does, that, Although, how does that work? To be honest, home loan rates are around about 6% now. They are now, yep. yeah. Now, so going on today, and the, and the, and the average um, mortgage finance for an asset, if, if, you, if you have a mortgage, sorry, uh, and not a renter or a border, is about eight, eight and a half. Right. Could take, yep. could be a bit less, be more, depends on your credit score these days. Yep. It's all a rate for risk. Okay. It's not that simple anymore. Um, so if, if you're comparing 6%, on your home loan, mm -hmm. which is the average, over over 20 or 30 years, as opposed to, okay, you're gonna pay a bit of extra percent, like yep. you know, seven or eight percent over seven years, it's gonna be a lot less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and when we say a lot less, what would you say? Just pluck I'll it, I know you, you haven't got your calculator yeah, here, but pluck a number, that, are we talking? I'd say on a $50,000 loan, you pay at least 150, give or take. So you're I paying $150,000 over the course of 20 years yeah. to in bank interest, yeah. just by putting it on the home loan, yeah as opposed to putting on a caravan I mean, line? customers can do the figures themselves. Just go onto a calculator, type in 6%, uh, $50,000 average loan, and then do it over 30 years and it'll come up. Wow. It's pretty easy to do. Wow, yeah. wow. But people don't do that. And, and when you go to your mortgage, the bank, sorry, they won't tell you that. They'll just say, yep, repayments are cheaper. Yeah. Obviously they're gonna be cheaper. Yeah. You know, if I had a, uh, 8% loan over 30 years, it'd be cheaper. What did the Commonwealth come out this year and say they uh, record record profits while us Aussies are struggling to pay home loans? Yeah. You know, what was it? To, 20 something odd like billion that, yeah. dollars or something ridiculous. Yeah, so they're in the ridiculous. they're in the game of making money. Of course, of course. They don't want to tell you yeah. the, the, the the most cost effective way to pay your yeah. caravan off, the that's you right. know, the quickest and the easiest and the cheapest yeah. way to pay it that's off. Right. Um, and I guess that's why there's experts like yourself inside of this field, uh, you know, and why you've done so well. So, uh, you know, again, there's lots of brokers around. Um, you know, you've been in the industry a long time. Started off as all about finance, is that correct? I well, actually we started off at National Leisure Finance. And okay. We went all about finance then Stratton bought all about finance out and then went back to National Ledger Finance. So let's go back 20 years. So let's yeah. say, where did it start? National Ledger Finance. National Ledger Finance. Just you? Just me. Your wife? Yep. 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 And then where did it lead from there? And then from there I teamed up with uh, All About Finance. Yep. Um, and then after a few years Stratton bought us out. Yep. And we were the leisure part of, of Stratton. What an achievement. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. Mate. And yeah. then um, obviously I, I left there and then went back to National Leisure Finance, the origin. Didn't like being an employee. Had no, to go back no. and work for yourself. I had to, yeah. had to, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do these no. interviews. That's it. <laughs> No, fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Uh, is there any last closing words of anyone out there that's obviously watching this, um, you know, and they're thinking about, you know, funding their new caravan through National Leisure Finance? They're thinking about taking out a caravan loan over five yeah. or seven years. What do they need to think about before they actually jump in and make that decision? Uh, look, firstly, just give us a call because a lot of people honestly don't know the repayments or what what they will pay, and 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 most of the time it's it's within their budget. You know what I mean? So just give us a call. We've got a friendly team and yep. we can just advise you yes or no and, and go from there and then help them as best we can. Yep, and that's something we should be doing before looking at the new caravan? You, 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 you would uh, Look, either way, um, some, a lot of people would like a pre-approval, but yep. most of the time that's because they're not sure yep. if they can get the loan. Yep. Um, but look, if you can get a caravan, uh, lock it in yep. that way, especially if it's a stock one that you actually like, and then um, just give us a call and we'll get it done pretty quickly for you. Fantastic, yep. nice. Well, Marco, thank you so much. Oh, National Leisure sure. Finance, always good to uh, have pleasure, you here. Mate. And uh, we'll have to make sure we go out for a meal together while you're here. Sounds good. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, there we have it, guys. Marco from National Leisure Finance. He is here at the Adelaide Showgrounds, the first broker to really break into the caravan space 20 years ago. Can you believe that? Now there is a finance broker on every corner here at the Adelaide Showgrounds. But if you guys want to make sure that you're going to get looked after with honest and trustworthy finance, Marco is a person to speak to. Come and speak with him with years of experience. He is going to set you up to save you money in the long run. Over and out.